Good morning, everybody. What is up today? I am taking you on a morning in my life travel day edition. First of all, sorry about my voice. I don't know what it is, but lately these mornings, I've been losing my voice in the morning, and then it's fine once I get to talking. I have no clue what's going on. You guys know I love to travel, and this week, I am spending an entire week up in Orlando for a little thing that I will tell you about later on in this video. But let me just say, I'm so excited. This is a travel morning I'm taking a little bit leisurely because I'm driving. I can kind of go whenever. So this might not be my every single time travel routine, but this is the goal when I have a later flight or a later departure time, anything like that. Here's what I love to do in the morning. Obviously, I already woke up, brushed my teeth, put in my contacts. I took a full on shower. Now, if I'm traveling back from somewhere, I will wait to take a shower at night so I can wash the plane or the car off of me. But today I am traveling too. It's only two and a half hours in the car and I needed this shower. So I'm letting my hair air dry a little bit before I dry it. Anyway, I also took my vitamins this morning. Those were my Care Of vitamins. You guys know that I take care of every single morning. I just absolutely love them. Care Of is a subscription service that sends your vitamins right to your door. All you do is take a short in-depth quiz online, tell them your health, wellness, physical, mental goals, and they will create a vitamin pack specifically to you. On top of that, Care Of little packets are super easy to travel with and on the go in these little compostable film packets so you can feel good about yourself and the environment. Plus, you can just throw however many of these you're going to be taking. I am taking seven of these with me on my trip and they're just so little slim and thin they fit anywhere. And like I said, once you take the quiz, you get a little booklet like this, little piece of paper that tells you exactly what's in your pack and what it's for so you can really know what you're accomplishing and also like why it's recommended for you and your health goals. So I take a probiotic blend, a multivitamin and iron, magnesium, rhodiola, and azaxanthin. And you guys, I seriously have never felt physically better. I haven't taken vitamins in forever. So when it took me to senior year of college to realize that I needed to get back on a health grind and back with some vitamins, I knew that care of was exactly what I wanted to do. And I've been using them ever since. So I love these and I'm going to be packing these for my trip today. I took those this morning. Again, packing seven for the trip. On top of all of those other amazing things, care of is actually giving you guys 50% off your first order. So you guys can go to takecareof.com and use the code Gracie50 for 50% off your first order. Now let's pack the rest of these up and get into the rest of our morning routine packing to go away now typically I have a lot of stuff done the night before so maybe I also need some sort of night before I leave routine because a lot of this stuff yesterday was Halloween but you know what it's what it was I didn't really want to go out Halloween's like not totally my thing so I was packing up last night because I had gotten home I stayed like a week at Brady's too so what we're basically gonna do is figure out what else we need. The good thing about being able to drive is I can pack as much as I want so I'm bringing this huge suitcase with plenty of like shoe and clothing options as well as this other little bag right here and that's where all of like my bathroom stuff is going, my hair stuff because I don't have enough room because of my shoes in this suitcase. So basically the goal for this morning is to finish getting packed up, have some breakfast on top of that and then get ready to get on the road. I'm hoping to leave by 11, 11.30 and it's 9.36 right now so I feel like that is a pretty good timeline and I'm gonna be able to accomplish that. So the first thing, I steamed these dresses this morning kind of off camera, because why would you wanna watch me steam dresses? But the linings were like sticking out from the bottom. It's just because the fabric needed a little bit of like wrinkle release basically. So I'm gonna pack these two in here on top here. I've got all my ears and stuff in here and my Disney sweatshirt. So I'm just gonna kind of stick them right on top because I don't care and I'm unpacking in a few hours. I'm so excited because I'm just gonna be living my own life by myself up in Orlando this week. I'm gonna be going to the parks because I am a Disney annual pass holder which I'm super excited to just like go and experience life up there and see how I like it. Brady's coming up for the weekend. I'm trying to convince Hannah to come up tonight so we can go to Magic Kingdom together tomorrow because she doesn't live too far. And we're just going to have a great time just packing up all my favorite little Disney things. Again, since I packed everything last night, it's uh, pretty easy to just kind of throw everything in in the morning, especially like a bathroom bag with your toothbrush. Like for me, contact lens. I just took a shower, so I use my shampoo and conditioner that I'm bringing, stuff like that. I can just throw in in the morning, which is what I'm doing now. One of the biggest things for me when packing to go away and when traveling morning up is sometimes the mornings can be really hectic. And this might sound stupid, but I do recommend writing down a list of everything that you're going to need in the morning that you cannot put in your suitcase the night before. For me, that happens to be my sleep mask, 
for this time. It was my shampoo and conditioner that I used and my razor. Different things like that that you know you can't have ready to go at night. Also included in today's is my jewelry organizer because I just got the jewelry yet and that was just me feeling lazy last night. Another morning of item, of course, is a toothbrush. I can't even lie, guys. I forgot the toothbrush before because it is a morning of item and that specific trip, I really didn't have a list written down. Also things like deodorant because you gotta put it on in the morning and then it gets thrown in the bag. So make sure you write down things like this so you don't forget. I have my little hanging toiletry bag right here, you guys. 11 out of 10 recommend this. You all know that I travel a lot. I think this is great. I think it's less than $25 on Amazon and it is linked in my storefront under travel essentials. So if you need a new one or you don't like yours, this one is super functional. I've got my mom on it, my sister on it, countless friends on this exact bathroom organizer. I've been using it for years. Literally since I went on semester at sea, it has been a game changer. So 10 out of 10 recommend that again on my storefront. Also this size is the medium There's also a large which if you have a lot of large products or a lot of products or you want to fit your makeup in there I'd recommend the large but I have the medium and it fits everything and of course my makeup This is my Tartlet tubing mascara from Tarte and I'm gonna put this on so I don't look so dead Okay, looking a little bit more put together again my hair is drying So we're just gonna kind of let that happen and now I'm gonna start to zip up my suitcase because everything I'm personally putting in my suitcase is in there now because like I said my bathroom bag things like that I have an extra bag for because I can but if you can't wait to zip it up until absolutely everything on your list is in there Another thing in my book that is super essential for all travel days, but especially travel day leaving, is eating some breakfast and drinking a lot of water. I haven't had any breakfast this morning, so let's go make breakfast, and I'm gonna keep continuing to drink my water. So this is breakfast just on two pieces of a sourdough loaf and then I'm gonna dry my hair once I'm done eating and we're gonna get ready to go. Cheers. Breakfast is finished. I'm now back in my bathroom getting ready to do my hair because it has dried enough where I'm just gonna finish it off by making sure it doesn't look terrible. Just use the straightening attachment on my Dyson Airwrap to finish this off. Okay, so my hair is dried. It literally took me five minutes. I'm gonna load up my jewelry, all my bathroom stuff into the bag, and we're gonna start to get ready to go. Okay, so I let my air wrap cool down for just a few minutes because I didn't wanna stick it in my little carrying case while it was super hot. And since I last saw you guys, I realized I left my MacBook charger at Brady, so I'm now gonna have to make a pit stop at the mall on my way out of here. So what a travel morning it is. I'm glad I have time. This travel case, also linked on my travel essentials on my storefront, is amazing. If you have the air wrap or any kind of hair tools and things that you want to keep in here, it really is awesome. And finally, my last travel tip essential is to have some caffeine. This is the only Celsius we have here. It's not really my favorite flavor, but it's fine. We're going to bring that in the car ride up. So now I'm just going to put this stuff in the bag and have the remainder of the stuff ready to go. Okay, let's get some of these things in the car. Well, 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 everything is all packed up and ready to go. So that was my travel morning routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, maybe learned something. Don't forget, drink a lot of water, bring caffeine, write a list down, don't forget all of your chargers and make sure to bring your vitamins with you. I love you all so, so much and I will see you in the next one. Make sure that you subscribe down below so you don't miss another video, especially because we're having an entire magical week in Orlando, more to come on that. But basically, I am testing out a couple of different communities this week to see if I want to be buying a property up here. Again, more to come. Like I said, I would kind of explain in this video, but it's probably a video in and of itself. I could be moving to Orlando. Who knows? No promises, but we're going to see how it goes this week. I'm going to get headed up there. Thank you for joining me on my morning travel routine, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!